Hey, welcome back to SB Ramble On. In the last video, we installed the shower sump pump and got all the plumbing hooked up for the shower and the head and uh, fired up the pump and it looked like the diaphragm started leaking. So I ordered a Japsco kit and it's a rebuild kit for the Japsco pump and now I'm gonna do that. This pump is a 36600. The kit number is that one. I haven't opened it yet, but it looks like it comes with diaphragm, check valve, belts, uh, all the stuff needed to rebuild the kit. Let's get started taking this thing apart. Piston pump side. There is so there's one check valve. There's like a little plastic washer that kind of disintegrated. So here's the old diaphragm, and this is what was pissing water when I was running it, and I'm not sure where exactly it's coming from. And that goes on the motor drive. So as this thing turns, as the wheel turns, this thing oscillates. Go ahead and smear this in a little bit of grease just to keep it lubricated. So there's two threaded screw holes that go through from the pump body that need to be accessible so I figured it out. So the top plate goes between the piston arm and the bolt here. So that's the main pump diaphragm. Let's go to the bottom side. So it looks like this, this goes right here in the middle. This is going to be fun. Oh, this is a mess. Something in there is all corroded. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got three more screws on this side. Oh, there we go. Ha! Just push it through from the other side. All right. So here's the crusty old check valve. This is the new one. Looks like it's universal. Doesn't matter which way it goes. So all the pump mating surfaces, I'm gonna give them a coat of silicone grease where they match with the diaphragm. Oh yeah, check that out. Look at that. So that is the diaphragm for the, I think it's the exit, oh, that's the inlet side. So the inlet side, that's the old one. This is the new one. Looks collapsed. Now we got this other check valve here. And it looks like it just pops out from the front. There's the old check valve. There's the new check valve. So that thing was facing down. So I'm gonna take some silicone grease. Oh man, come on, there we go. Ah, got it in. So that's the inlet side, so the diaphragm should face up. So I looked at the tear apart diagram online for the Jabsco pump. It shows the inlet valve faces this way, the outlet valve faces that way. So I got this one. 
So uh, this metal plate that goes over top of this gasket right here, or this whatever it is, diaphragm, I just cleaned it up with a little bit of, uh, I don't know, 220, 320, something like that, grit sandpaper. And then this thing actually overlaps. Now we got to put the spacing plate, actually it goes like this, on the pump housing. And then this goes on top. All right, so now I'm gonna mount the motor, mount the pivot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna reuse the old belt since the old belt actually doesn't look too bad. The kit came with a new belt. I'll just save that as a spare. It goes on like that. So the belt has teeth and. I'm sure there's a tension process. Belt turns. So there you go. The pump is rebuilt. Now I gotta install it down here, hook up all the plumbing and flood the sump and test it out. All right. So that's the way the shower pump's supposed to work. It's not supposed to spew water all over the place. Those things are like 500 bucks. The rebuild kit was 120, I think. So, thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And you can see all our new videos when they come out.